Hey, how's it going? Uh, last week we had put out a request on Instagram for questions about New Mexico. Had a pretty good response. Several guys have a lot of questions about how to apply in New Mexico, where to apply. So we just want to jump in and do a Q&A today and answer those questions. First question I had was from KJK Weaver 14 Best advice for getting a non-resident bull tag in New Mexico? Well, my best piece of advice I can give you is, is simply to apply. Uh, a lot of people don't consider New Mexico for whatever fact, but uh, everybody's on a level playing field, no point system in New Mexico. So you might as well apply. The next part of that I would say is have a strategy when you apply. New Mexico is gonna give you three choices and they're gonna consider all three of your choices uh, before moving to the next applicant. So you know, need to have a strategy in place. You know, apply for those hard to draw hunts, low odds is your first choice, you know, and then maybe stagger that towards some hunts that have a better chance of drawing. Uh, is your third choice because like I said they're going to consider all three of those before moving to the next guys you know apply and and have a strategy next question young adventure outdoors uh, are party applications allowed for elk party applications are allowed for uh, elk deer antelope uh, barbary sheep uh, ibex and even orcs up to four people can apply non-residents and residents can apply together so yeah group applications absolutely are, are allowed for elk Ritter's Northwest Adventures, do you pay the tag fees up front or only pay the tag fees when you are drawn for a tag? Yes, you have to front the entire cost of the permits that you apply for in New Mexico. You will have to also buy a hunting license to apply in New Mexico. So for a non-resident, it's gonna be $65 and you can actually choose to have that refunded. If you're unsuccessful in drawing any permits, they're gonna refund you the entire cost uh, of that permit minus the $13 application fee per species. So you do have to front the costs, which can be hefty, but uh, completely worth it if you can float those funds. I have Joe Hilty. Do a party application hinder your chances of getting a tag? For instance, does two people applying together stand a better chance of drawing than three or four? And the answer to that is, is kind of. <laughs> so a party application is treated as one application. Uh, every party, every member of that group uh, goes on to the same application and if that application is selected, uh, all the party members on that application will receive a permit provided there are enough permits uh, to cover everybody on the application. So does it have the potential to hurt your odds? Yes, it does have the potential uh, individually hurting your odds of drawing a permit. And I'll give you a scenario. So New Mexico will not over allocate permits to cover your group application. So let's say you are a group of four and there are three permits remaining and they pull your application, your application will be rejected. You know, same goes for if there's one permit and there's two of you, they'll reject your application. So if you're a group of four, it does have, you know, the potential to have worse odds than if you are a group of two or a single applicant. Ingi now, sorry if I butchered your, your handle. I know bighorn sheep is a long shot for a non-resident, but what three unit seasons would you put in for for best chances? Bighorn sheep in New Mexico is a little bit complicated. And I think it's important to touch on that. So there's actually gonna be uh, two rocky and two desert bighorn sheep permits that will be allocated through the guide draw. There are only gonna be one non-resident rocky and one non-resident desert that's allocated through the regular draw so you can actually apply for both um, you'll just need to put the two hunt codes either desert is your first choice or rocky is your second choice and then underneath each one of those uh, you can pick your unit that you are interested in hunting first guy off pile is going to draw the desert you know the other guy's going to draw the rocky so it's pretty uh, competitive highly sought after permit as far as individual units you know, for deserts, units 13, 17, which is that Ladrones unit has typically been the, the best. For Rockies, uh, that Rio Grande Gorge has been good. You know, Wheeler Peak is another one that is typically pretty good. BC bow hunting. First season has better odds, but we will be warmer and less bugling than second season. With that being said, what season do you guys prefer on a DIY public land hunt for bulls over 330? So I'll touch on the end of that sentence first. Uh, when you're talking bulls over 330, probably only looking at a handful of units that can and will produce those kind of bulls in any number. Any unit could produce a 330 plus bull, but when you start talking at having a legitimate chance at a 330 bull, you're really kind of limiting yourself uh, as far as the units that can produce that kind of bull. So 
you know, it's like 16A, 16D, maybe 17, 13, some of those. Comes to seasons, you know, the, the early archery season is gonna have better odds. The second archery season is gonna have a better rut. I would say it really just depends. Uh, if you've got some time to scout and you could really put in time and the effort, that early season, it's a great opportunity. You're gonna have first crack at those bulls. Uh, if you wanna go down and have a fun rut type hunt where you get a chance to call bulls and, and really hunt elk, like a lot of people love to, then I would say the second season. Okay, we have a question from Spence uh, Schultz. Are the draw odds on the site that of the unit, is it your first choice? So basically, as he's saying, are our odds calculated for first choice? So our odds for New Mexico are calculated from the exact draw data that the state has. So including the, you know, the applicant's choices by choice and, and units. So we have that draw data uh, from the state. What we do with that data is we take that and we actually process it the exact same way that the state does. And we run that thousands and thousands and thousands of times and we generate an odd uh, for each individual hunt. You can kind of look at it as like the, your odd for drawing that hunt because they're going to consider your first, second, and third choice before moving to the next applicant. It's basically your odds for, for drawing that hunt uh, as any choice. So uh, I would say as far as strategy goes, again, uh, you want to swing for the fences with your first choice because you just never know when you're going to be the first guy off the pile and you could draw the, the tag of a lifetime. So, you know, swing for the fences, look for those good opportunity type of hunts as your first choice. Second and third choice, you want to stagger those towards hunts that still meet your objectives, but your odds get progressively better of drawing that permit. So what's so great about that Go Hunt Insider and that standalone draw odds page is that you can very quickly uh, reference each weapon, each hunt, and draw odds and, and use that to put together your strategy. So last question from JDK4387, and this is for Justin. He says, what unit should I apply for? You know, I consulted my Magic 8 Ball last night, thought hard about it, <laughs> and uh, for you, Justin, I'm gonna pick unit 17, uh, unit 13, and then unit 23. So I expect that to be your choice, and I hope uh, luck shines on you and you kill a giant bull. So that's what we had uh, as far as questions go for New Mexico. If you have more questions, you have follow-ups to some of these, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Either comment on the video. If you guys like this type of stuff, you want to see more of it, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can ask questions via there in the comment link. Like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, good luck in the New Mexico draw. I hope you take a chance to apply and I hope you draw the tag of a lifetime.